So today I'm going to show you how to change a soap dispenser on most dishwashers. This one is on a KitchenAid, Maytag, Whirlpool dishwasher, but this goes for almost all brands I've come across. First thing you have to do is locate the circuit breaker. This one was not labeled, so flip them all off until you find the right one. A quick pro tip, whenever you shut off a circuit breaker for any type of job, if it's the wrong one, leave that breaker off for a couple minutes. Otherwise, cycling it on and off too fast could ruin your electronics. It's always the same process remove the screws around the door this KitchenAid has three short screws right here they look like this make sure to like and subscribe and then longer ones that go into the plastic panel around the top again most dishwashers are very similar in the construction they have short screws that hold in the front door and then they have longer ones that hold in the plastic panel I usually start with the short screws, then I work my way to the panel. If you have someone helping you, it'd be great. If you're by yourself, it's good to sit on the floor and use your feet to prop the door up so it doesn't come flying down and bend out of shape. And then take the top ones off. That's the long plastic screw that goes in the panel. Now when you do take all the screws off, the door is very sharp. It could flex and cut you. I have a couple friends with scars up their whole arm from this. Also, keep an eye on how they go in, what goes where, if there's any gaskets or trims, and be careful and watch the wires. Make sure you unplug any wires, take pictures of the wires, where they go. And this is the computer. On this unit, I can move the door to the side and work on it. On your unit, you may have to unplug some plugs and then take the door off. Now this plug goes right to the soap dish. There's a little tab, you push it in and pull the wire out. Try not to pull it by the wires, pull it by the plastic and pop that pin in. That is soap that was leaking through the dishwasher. So this dishwasher was broken in two ways door was broken and soap was leaking now there's these little retainers on the stainless steel door don't bend them out of shape too much because then they won't hold in your new dispenser with pressure and then you want to pop them off one at a time you can take a razor blade and be very careful cut the plastic out around the soap dish or just do what I'm doing take a putty knife or a screwdriver and pop the metal tab slightly down and push it in until it unclips. I made a mistake here where the door was shut so it wasn't going in so I opened the door and I stuck a towel in the top to keep some space between the rack and the dispenser. You'll see that in a couple seconds and that's going to allow that dispenser to pop right into the machine and get out of your way. Please take a minute to like and subscribe. If this helped you out in any way, leave a comment. Thanks for watching. Once you get the dispenser out, you want to clean around if there's any soap scum or anything like that so you can make a good seal. And you're going to wet the stainless door and you're going to wet the soap dish with some water just so the gasket can slip right in and make a good seal. Now, everything here is razor sharp. This is stainless steel, very sharp. So now you line up the new one the same way that the old one was. Make sure it has the same orientation. Don't put it upside down. And when you're ready to go, you go from the inside, put the soap dispenser in the proper way. Make sure the new one's working. Make sure everything looks good. Now we're gonna go from the inside very carefully. We're gonna pop it through. And not everything's gonna click, but something will click you'll get a couple clicks. At this point, you don't have to have space between the door anymore. You can just shut the door right away against the rack. That's gonna help keep it in place. Then you can pull the soap dispenser from the back or from the front. You wanna make sure all the clips are clipped in properly and you're gonna bend them in slightly so that they don't go anywhere. If you look here, I'm bending them in now to hold it in place, I'm making sure it's sealed nice. One test you could do is open the door all the way and pour a cup of water around the soap dish and shut the door and see if any water leaked out. You wanna make sure there's no leaks because you won't see the leaks once you put the door back on and you don't need any leaking on those wires or on the floor or anything like that. So right here, I'm just pushing in those tabs, make sure they're all clicked. This one had about eight tabs. After that, you just have to plug it in the way you found it, tuck in that wire, don't pinch it in the door, don't put a screw through it. Make sure it's out of the way, and then you can test it out. That'll be the next step. Right now, I'm plugging it in. I'm tugging on that wire, make sure it doesn't come loose, and I'm tucking the wire in these little retainers that it has just to keep it away from the door and pinching them or putting any screws through them. 
Once everything's plugged in, you're gonna shut that door together. A lot of the doors slide on, they push forward. You have to find the right way to do it. This one here has a wiper, I call it. It's like a little gasket that goes along the top of the door and the computer touchpad. And that wiper has to sit on top of the door so water doesn't get into your components and your wire. Now it's easier at this point to open the door slightly, sit on the floor and work your magic. Try to get that door on nice and snug and then you start working your way around with screws gently. You don't have to tighten them all the way. Once the screw has a little tension, leave it alone and put another one in, crisscross pattern just to get it in evenly and then work your way around the screws one at a time. Don't forget that there was two different sizes of screws. One of them was a long screw that only goes in plastic and the other ones were shorter screws that go metal to metal. So not only are the screws different lengths, but they also kind of have different threading so that they grab different materials. So now I'm gonna work my way around the door carefully. So what you wanna do now is shut that dispenser, start a cycle, and you're gonna wait a couple minutes until it pops open on its own. So right here, about three or four minutes passed, we're gonna hear a click. Once you hear the click, open the door and see if it opened on its own. And that's all you gotta do for this. So be very careful with the electricity. Make sure you shut off that breaker. Make sure you don't cut yourself on this door. It's very sharp. And make sure after the job is done, it's not leaking. And after that, make sure that it opened when it's supposed to open. If you start a normal cycle, most dishwashers after 10, 20, 30 seconds or some of them after four or five minutes, it will pop open on its own. So there you have it, folks. I hope this helped a lot. Any questions, leave them in the comments. Feel free to reach out to me. Here's my email and contact information. Let me know how it went. If you need any more help, just reach out. I'm always here. Make sure to like and subscribe. It's the best way to pay me back. Holla at me. Thank you for watching.